Because your face is clean. Hate you. Hallelujah. Now watch. For I am now ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand. Now if y'all can understand that, the time of my departure is at hand. In other words, I know any moment the soldier is going to come and take me and cut my head off. But watch. I have fought a good fight. We can stop right there. Amen. I fought a good fight. No, no, I want that next line. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Yes. I finished my course and I kept the faith. Amen. I'm going to die now. But I want you to know, Timothy, Hallelujah. I didn't back up. Yes. I didn't waver. Yes. I didn't power down. Yes. Timothy, I wasn't no sissy. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I know I'm going to meet my death. Yes. Hallelujah. But I want you to know, Timothy, I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. Hallelujah. I kept the faith. Hallelujah. I obeyed the Bible. I obeyed my calling. Hallelujah. All you can do is keep the faith. No matter what you're going through. Understand this. You're going through something. But if Jesus before you, who could be against you? Hallelujah. David wrote a psalm during the same time when he was surrounded with Absalom's army. And he said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. David was trying to encourage himself. But he was also trying to testify to God. I'm in a problem now. I can't get out of it. But you got to help me this time. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. I believe he said, he prepared the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Oh, hallelujah. When I got no place to go, when friends turned their back on me, not because of something I did, hallelujah, not because of my way, but because somebody else did something, they're going to hold me accountable. Yeah. They're going to turn their back on me. Yeah. But David said, the Lord will prepare a table before you when you're surrounded by your enemies. God's going to bless you in spite of what they do. And I want you to know one thing. If you make up your mind that you're going to serve God, if you make up your mind you're going to follow him in holiness, if you make up your mind you're going to deny yourself and pick up your cross, I want you to know that God will give you. I want you to know that God will defeat every enemy. That God is ever against you. God will always give you the victory. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The Bible said Job was afflicted. Not because he had done anything. Hallelujah. Somebody told him, said, Job, you ought to kill yourself. You see, the God that you serve. He can't be real. Because if he's real, Job, you wouldn't be in the condition you in. Job said, Hallelujah, God. Naked came I into the world. And naked I shall depart. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I believe the next verse said, All this did Job not sin against God, nor judge God foolishly. Hallelujah, what I'm trying to say. No matter what you're going through, don't you worry about what you're going through. Don't never judge God foolishly. Don't never say, Lord, how come I'm going through all this? Lord, why me? I want you to understand. Praise God from glory. Sometimes God lets you go through something to let you know that you can't get it out of yourself. You can't fix it yourself. You can't solve it yourself. You need to learn how to trust in God. And learn how to believe that God's going to prepare a table before you. When you got to find it by your enemy. When you make up your mind that God you live. And God you will die. I want you to know to understand that help is on the way. 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 journey. Glory, Job had more than he did before. Yes, he I want you to know at the end of the journey David looked yes, and he asked the man. He said, how is my son? Yes. The man said, all your enemies that rose up against you they lay dead in the field. Yes, Hallelujah. I want you to understand one thing. No enemy that rise up against you. He's not going to prevail against you. All you got to do is hold on to God's own children. Don't turn God 